Hey everyone, and welcome to the preview video for our 11th firing and 11th kiln opening here at Curry Wilkinson Pottery. Um, this firing was a great success. We have a lot of very, very shiny pieces, it was very shiny firing, um, not a whole lot of matte. We've got some beautiful blues. Um, as always, we've got some beautiful slip trailed pieces. Um, and yeah, I wanna just uh, give you guys a little bit of a look into what we got this time. So we're starting out here with um, the large pieces from this firing. You know, again, very, very shiny. And we've got a lot of, um, you know, beautifully slip trail pieces, some really nice blues here. Um, you know, more of kind of the, um, the black tops I like to put on um, a lot of these pieces and the sort of loose floral slip trail designs. Um, you know, we've got kind of... Uh, this one's a nice matte blue glaze, and you can see sort of down the piece, you've got some really nice slip trail detail down there. We've got a grave marker, we've got some uh, kind of taller pedestal planters. All right, and then we've also got um, some platters. You have a few um, uh, second platters here, so it'd be some really great, uh, great deals on those. I'll show you the rest of those in just a minute. Um, we've got you know a few pieces um, from previous kiln openings still left. Again, some more some really nice slip trailing. Um, I've got some nice uh, different size vase. Um, that I've done in the past. Those are probably about uh, seven, eight inches tall. All right, and this time we've also got um, some uh, a new kind of bean pot that I've sort of tried. So sort of like a narrower uh, opening casserole. It's are really fun to make. I love the handles on these. Um, and again, that glaze just shined up super well this time. A nice ash glaze on those. But, uh, a little bit behind getting ready for the opening this time, but we've got a few more platters back here. I'll give you a little detail on those. nice dark blue that goes to sort of a paler white blue in the middle. Again, just some more slip trail designs. We'll come back out here. Right. And again, we got some larger, some of these larger uh, bean pots here. The same kind of idea, nice floral slip decoration. All right. And then finally, I had have had some plates to come out decently and not warp on me. So plates this time, really, really cool. Got a lot of slip trail, slip trailing variation on these. So yeah, I mean, all one-of-a-kind designs, um, some that are similar, but no two are exactly alike. All right. I'm gonna come over here and check out the bowls. As usual, we've got our kind of larger uh, rim fire bowls here with a nice uh, swipe throughs on the back. There's a white slip always coming out super nice. And there, a few more for the black. 
And we've also got a lot of slip trail designs on the inside of these too. All right, and we've also got some smaller bowls here too. The nice slip trail on the inside. trail on the outside as well. Super nice details on those. It's kind of loose slip decoration on the inside. Right. A few more of these larger bowls with the slip trailing on the inside. And we've got some pretty sweet blue ones this time. Really, really cool drips on the outside of these. Three more gunmetal there. Nice dots. Even some of these blue ones have got the slip trailing on the outside. As you can see. Nice little contrast there. All right. I did a few little experimental pieces, just kind of get a little bit of, you know, new look, with some slips and uh, different glazes. Let's see, there's a really cool one with the wad marks on it, nice chino glaze on the outside, They're really cool. It's got a lot of variation on the bottom. Nice little blue rim. And then of course we have tons of mugs. And we got a lot of different uh, glazes and slip uh, combos going on. The nice dots. Of course, slip trailing. of this like cascading sort of like orange and green and blues really 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 hot firing and got that nice and orange Let's see, we've got some more dots on this like peacock mug here Let's see, some really cool crystals forming on this guy sort of a very traditional looking mug there and cups also got nice little chino glaze on that cup. Another kind of different chawan with uh, really cool little um, wad marks on the bottom there. Oh, and these are really cool. With a little loop de loop. Nice blue coming through. See some crystals forming on there. Really nice glassy, um, you know, celadon looking glazes here. The slip trailing underneath. Let's see. Oh, and we've also uh, did kind of a, a little different. I've made I've made this shape in the past, but kind of going back to doing some of these different shapes with the mug, with the slip trailing, and nice little crystallized glaze. Let's find another one. That's really cool. This guy with the slip trailing on the bare clay, get a nice salt blast right there. Again, super glassy look on that cup. Another blue mug. So, let's see. Oh, and there's another cool little, little guy there. Nice wad marks. All right, so that is just a little preview of um, our um, 11th firing here at Kerr Wilkinson Pottery. Um, again, we will be open this weekend, Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. So 
if um, you know you see some nice pots that you like here today in our preview, you know, come on by and check it out. Um, we will have um, pottery online next weekend at uh, 10 a.m. on Saturday. So um, you know, if you're out of state, uh, you know, look look there and um, we'll get some of those pots up uh, next weekend. But anyways. Thank all of you so much for your support and following us, your likes and comments online. Uh, it's the support, it means so much to us and we really could not be doing this without all of you. And um, anyways, we hope to see you this weekend and thanks again.